What's up, everybody? I am BK, bkbangers.com. Welcome to another video. Today's video, I want to venture off into submixing or bus mixing, channel bus mixing inside of the MPC 2.0, 2.2.1 software. If you caught yesterday's video, I showed you guys how to export your songs or tracks from standalone from your MPC X or your MPCs um, live. And in this video, I want to share with you submixing um, and the uses of it. So if you go to your channel mixer, you will see that we have the submix. Now, your submix might not be highlighted, so if you open it, it'll be blank. And in order to see it, you have to actually press submix right here. The same with returns, it's the same thing. You have to actually press it to actually see it. It's a cool way to clean up and organize while you're mixing. So what is the submix? The submix is basically, if you are familiar with Studio One or Pro Tools or Logic, you have a bus where you can route all your sounds or a portion of your sound. Say you want a drum bus where you only have only drums, kick, snare, hi-hat, percussive sounds on one bus. Then you have the instruments such as the piano, the synth, guitar, you have that on one in, one bus. Then you have a vocal bus, right? So you put the vocals on one bus. So that is what submix is. The equivalent to it is basically a submix where you can control the volume of all those tracks in one track. Now, just in Studio One, we have something called the VCA channel strip, which is the same as a bus but it's not the same as a bus because on a bus you can put um effects on that bus and on the vca channel strip there's no effects it's only uh for value purposes so on the submix in mpc software it's pretty much the same so what i'm gonna show you guys right now is how to go about setting that up. The question came across um, from a homie on on uh, Instagram, and he was basically asking me uh, how to go about doing that, if it's possible to do it, because it was possible in the 1.9 version, and um, he said it wasn't possible, or he didn't re he didn't know how to get it done inside of uh, the 2.0 software. So pretty much what I have here is I have one track, I mean one um, program, right? With uh, nine tracks, 10 tracks, but it's one program, right? So I'm gonna play it for you, then I'm gonna show you guys real quick how to you know, s route the sounds. All right, so being that they're on one it's one program all the all the initial sound they're all on one um, pattern I mean one program so inside of program mix or pad mix right I'll go to the each individual pad right if I had several different programs I could just do this with just doing it on the program in the uh, in the mix, the channel mixer instead. But being that I only have one program, it's only one. So I have to, in order to route the sounds differently, 
I have to go to the pad mixer. So here we have the pad mixer. And as you can see, I already changed a few of them to sub mix one, right? So how you do it is originally it'll be on program, which this is the original program. As you can see, all of these is on program. And then you go into submix and you go to submix one, two, we have up to eight different submixes, right? And it comes in handy again, because as I stated before, if you have your drums on one submix bus, your uh, instrument pianos or whatever on one, and then you have your vocals on another, it comes in handy that way. So. If I wanted to control the volume of just those said tracks, or if I wanted to mute those said tracks, I, all I have to do is press mute and you won't hear those other sounds. But as you can see, they're actually playing. As you can see, they were actually playing, but you weren't hearing them, right? And if you want to control the volume, it's the same thing. That's pretty much the same. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna route the, uh, all the drums to submix two. the sounds routed to different bus channels um it'd be cool if we could actually rename it from sub mix one to actually drum mix one or you know but we can't rename them but whatever we'll we'll work with it right so really simple you come in you uh you, you route them off into different sub mixes and you're able to control the volume of the entire song with you know three three sliders rather than having to go through 16 different sliders um it helps you mix a little bit faster if you know what you're doing and again you can add your effects on these submixes and not affect the uh the actual pads right or you could affect it as a group opposed to putting the same um you know stutter effect or something on all on 16 pads you could just group it to one submix and then do it that way all right so that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to share with y'all. It's really simple. It's not really a, a crazy cook up like that. But um, I hope this information reaches uh, M. Reese. 
and whoever else wanted to know or how to needed to know how to go about uh using the submix i know it's off on the side and a lot of us don't even realize that we actually have the submix to utilize um as well as the returns in in 2.0 software update because they changed it around so it's a it's a little bit lost for some people um but that's pretty much it what i'm gonna play for you right quick is actually the song format how i formatted it so i'm not sure how long this video is currently but it'll be edited up and it'll be edited out and i'm gonna close out with that so do remember that music is life it is our dna keep banging peace love light till next time peace